In this presentation, we will generate, analyze, print, and export to Excel a report related to the restricted net assets. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. Let's head on over to our Excel worksheet to see what our objective will be. We've been creating the statement of activities. We created the statement of activities, breaking out the information between those items with restrictions and those without. Then we further broke out the expenses, mainly focusing in on the expenses related to the items that were unrestricted by both function, what they're used for, program, and so on, and then by nature. So we had to make another report that had both of those by nature, what, you know, the normal thing that you would think of with like expenses, rent, expense, salaries, and then by function. And now we want to think about the other side of things, which is the restricted items. Because the restricted items, you might have multiple different kinds of, of restrictions. And the way to think about this might be to, to like pretend you're giving this to somebody. If you just gave them this whole thing on one giant spreadsheet, they'd be overwhelmed. If you give them it a piece at a time, they're going to be like, well, what about this? Well, what about that? Right. So if we give them the statement of activities that's broken out this way, we can imagine them asking, well, that's nice. But uh, what about, you know, what about this? And that's what we want because then we're going to say oh well here we're, now we have this other report that's going to give you that you know rather than their eyes glazing over at the first report and then once we give them this they're going to say oh well what about the restricted items i mean what kind of restrictions are you talking about you know what kind of restricted items do we have then we're going to say oh that's a good question we're going to give them the restricted items then okay so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go back on over and now focus in on those so we're in zero we're going to go to the accounting drop down we're going to then go down to our income statement worksheet. Let's just consider our worksheet first. That will basically coincide to our statement of activities, uh, although it'll have a, a few more check numbers within it. So within zero, similar report, statement of activities. We got the unrestricted and restricted items. Now we're focusing on those questions for the restricted items. What types of restrictions do we have? So let's go up top. Let's right click on this tab up top. Let's duplicate that report back to the tab to the left and then let's open our our worksheet that we already created for you know that more detail accounting drop down we're going to go to the restricted items worksheet we are in essence just going to recreate this worksheet now in practice you could just take this worksheet and modify it but we'll just show you how to build this thing again so here's our worksheet and this is breaking out the the columns here government grants time and long-term restrictions these are the restricted items that total then adding up to if we add them all up to 234 656 adding up to the income statement line item for the restricted items to 234 656 so going back on over the only difference here is we had two different total columns in our worksheet to total them up basically by these three categories and then to total them up with a formula so we'll construct this again with only one total column just to show us how to build this thing out and then we'll probably clean this thing up at the bottom getting rid of some of these columns as well so let's get some practice with that great tool within zero to do this so we're going to uh, right click we're going to duplicate this tab we'll make this from a standard income statement so we're going to go back to the left we're going to open up a standard income statement go into the accounting drop down down to that income statement then we'll do some customization down on the on the bottom left by editing the layout let's edit the layout and then we're going to add some columns i'm going to go back up top we're going to be adding some columns and we're going to be adding columns related to the restricted items so you want to go into the restricted items we're going to select the drop down and and we're going to go down to the government grants so let's open up the government grants and then say okay i'm going to double click on the uh the item here i don't need the 2020 in front of it so i'm going to remove that then i'm going to click on the 2020 here i'm going to remove this this column we don't want the total so i'm going to go back up top and remove it with the trash can then we'll add another column so i'm going to select a drop down we're going back into the restricted item again we have clearance don't worry it's restricted but we're it, we're okay to go there so we're going to hit the drop down and then we're going to go to the long term project long term project and then we'll pick that up we'll double click on this uh, item again the header let's remove the 2020 2020 is removed and there we have that let's do it again going back up top to the uh to the items we're going to go to the restricted items again and then 
we're going to go down to the time restriction. Time restriction. This is the last one because we're not picking up the unassigned or the NA, right? Those are, those are going to be items that are helping us for the formatting. They might be included in our worksheets, but not in our final product. They should be cleared out by now, by this point. So we're going to say, all right, there's our time. And then we can have a total. We could do the total uh, in two ways. I could do the total restricted items and click out all the total restrictions, or I can use a formula. I like to use a formula here, so I'm going to use the formula. Uh, I'm going to go down. I'm going to use the formula. Now, we should be double checking this with our worksheet and actually doing it those two different ways. But by the time we get here, we just want the one, you know, the one calculation, one total column, obviously. Drop down. We're going to say the government grants plus the drop down the long-term projects plus and then we'll go drop down the time there we have and then i'm going to double or we could just go down here this time and call it this is the total that's the total all right and that looks pretty good i think that is it now now also note however that we really only need the income side of things let's just to think about that let's look at our report if i say done we're going to go back to what we have thus far thus far this is what we have so we've got uh, the the contributions the grants uh the net assets released from restriction here and then we've got these items down below which is the gross profit that's that's nice we want a total column here we don't really need the operating income because there's no expenses why aren't there any expenses because basically when it when it's been when the when the restricted item has been fulfilled we're showing it by re taking it out with this net assets released so this like negative income account is the account that's pulling down the the amount here that's that that's what's pulling it down where there's not going to be any expenses in other words when it goes down it's going to be going down by it being released from restriction which will be this line item so we don't really need these these bottom two line items I'll keep them on my worksheet in case there's something that is in there in case there's something there that might be something wrong <laughs> But I don't, if I don't need them in my final presentation, then I can remove them here. And that's a little less formatting we would need to do in something like an Excel if we were to export this. So let's go ahead and edit the layout. It's really, it's really neat that we can, we can delete actually the total columns because you can't typically do that in most other softwares. You can't, like, like a QuickBooks, you can't just go in here and delete like the whole cost of goods sold line item here like we're going to do right now. So I'm going to go to, to like the cost of goods sold. We don't have anything in cost of goods sold. It looks like we have a lot of accounts, but those are just the GL accounts. There's nothing in it and there won't be anything in it in the future. So we're going to remove it. Don't worry about it because the income statement is still safe. We're not overriding the, the main income statement. So I'm just going to go up top and say delete it. Cost of goods sold. Proceed anyways. I don't want and then I'm going to delete that group. So I'm going to just delete the whole group. That's fine. And then I'm going to delete the, the gross profit. Yeah, we don't want that. So I'm going to go up top and, and say trash can that one, please, if you would. Proceed anyways. And then we got the whole operating expenses. We don't want it. We could, we'd could we like to remove that. So we're going to go up to the trash can with that one. Please trash that. And proceed. Proceed and delete the, delete the group. That's fine. And then we're going to go back down. And then uh, the operating income. Uh, the operating income. Let's go down to the other income and expenses. We don't need that. Let's go up top and say I'm going to delete the other income and expenses. Proceed. Delete. The operating income we don't need. All we need is a total income. So I'm going to delete the operating income. Trash can. Proceed. And then the net income we don't need. Trash can. All right. So now we only have the income items. Let's go ahead and say done. See what it looks like at this point. And there we have it. So we've, we've taken it down to just the things we need. That's all we need. Nice and clean. Very nice. Uh, again, I'm really kind of impressed that we can do that much formatting within the database uh, system. And so now I'm just going to rename the report. And we're going to say restricted. Restrict. Restricted items detail restricted items detail report now note that this report is is going to tie out to the income statement because we're running the time frame it should also tie out to the balance sheet uh it will right now because it's we only had one month of operations but if you had if you had multiple months of operations remember you would need to run this report 
uh, for the life of, of, the, of the restricted item. So you would just run the date range all the way back to the life of the operation and that'll give you the activity for the life of the item that should tie into the balance sheet. We don't need that here because we only have one month of operation so this will tie in in any case. So that is it. Let's go ahead and customize this. Let's customize this one. I'm going to copy the name. So I'll copy the name here and then go customize and say we want the name there. That's the custom name we want. And then I'm going to save it. Don't overwrite the actual income statement by clicking that box. And then I'm going to go back to the tab to the right. And let's just check to see if the customization has indeed arrived by going to the accounting drop down, going into those reports. We want to then go into the custom reports, into the custom reports section. And now we have our worksheets down here and our custom reports. So we're mainly going to be working with these. Well, that's why we made them a star next to them. But then when we're done working with those, these, these three should be good. They don't have our check figures in there or anything, but they should all, they should all be good. So once these, once we cleared out our check figures here, these three should be good for external reporting purposes. All right. Now let's go back to the first tab. Once again, we can uh, save this as a PDF file and print it, or we can put it on our Excel file and then be able to print all of our reports at once without collating, or we can then make one PDF file from the Excel file. Let's check it out. We're going to then go to the PDF. We're going to export to the PDF. It'll open down here on the bottom because that's what Chrome does. That's just what Chrome does. We're going to put that into uh, the zero file. So let's open up the zero file here. I'm just going to do the old drag and drop. So I'm dragging it and then I let go of the clicker thing and it drops it. It's not dropping. It's dragging but not dropping. All right, I got it. It was getting a little attached to it there, but that's okay. Then I'm going to close this one back up and then we're going to go to the export. Now let's take a look at the Excel. Now this one I'm not going to drag and drop, I'm just going to simply open up the Excel worksheet because we're going to copy it and then paste it into the existing Excel worksheet which already has our other reports on it. There it is, I'm going to enable the editing so that uh, it lets me edit it. And then I'm going to click on the triangle up top, the top triangle, and so that takes the whole worksheet which I want to take the whole worksheet, right click and copy that worksheet going to minimize this tab, minimize this tab, minimize this tab, and go into my financial statement uh, report. This is the one that we've been putting our financial statements on thus far. And we're going to be adding another tab with a little plus button, little plus button. And then I'm going to put that in A1, right clicking and pasting in A1. And then I'm going to double click on the name down below. We're going to rename it to restricted items detail. I don't know if that's a long name kind of but and then I'm gonna make this tab a little bit longer so so I could see the uh, numbers in it instead of little instead of those dash marks and then I'm gonna go to the page layouts page layout view see if it fits on a page it does so that's good enough for now we could do some more formatting but that's good for now now we've got our statement of activity so again you can imagine someone uh, you know questioning this we're gonna give this first page to the board of directors and they're gonna say oh well that's great but you know what about these expenses how are they broken out by use i mean what are they used for i want to see what uh, you know how much is going to the programs versus the, okay well here's going to be our expenses now we're going to break that out here's the total programs here's the other non-program stuff and you can make your comparison there so then if we go back on over and they're going to say well what about like the restricted items you know what kind of restrictions are those what what, what does that include and then we could say all right here's our restrictions we got the government grants for education long-term projects and the time restriction. Let's go ahead and print this out. We can go to the file tab up top. We can then print it. And then I would like to print it. Uh, we could key feature here, drop down. We want to print the entire workbook. So we'll print the entire workbook. And that will give us three pages that we can then print without having to collate or do anything fancy with the printer. So that's great. And then we can use the cute PDF printer free thing. To, you can search for it and download it and and should work fine. I don't you know have any affiliation with them. It's just what I use. I think it works fine. And then I can say print and it's going to ask me where do we want to put it now. So pretty soon. Got to wait for it a little bit. And there is the financial statements. That's where we want it. I'm going to say save. I'm going to replace the prior report we had to put it there. Let's check out what happened. I'm going to close this out. Save it. Minimize. 
And now we have our reports. Here's the report we made as a PDF. I'm going to drag that into my financial statement folder. So within the folder now we have these three reports we can give to someone by, you know, an email with three attachments or we could right click on that folder. We can put it in a folder and we can send that folder to a compressed file where we can attach this file. We can attach that file to an email, whereas you can't attach this file to an email, right? And then we can also print it from the Excel file if we so choose, if we need to print multiple copies without needing to collate. Or we can then give one attachment, which is simply the financial statements that we have thus far with just this PDF file. That will look like this. We have the statement of activities. We have the expenses by nature and function. And we have the res uh, restricted items uh, detail report. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.